Hey, welcome Lakers Angels Fan Radio, where we definitely have a bias here. Uh, this was the game of the night for sure. Way different than the first game. Gonzaga UCLA went in overtime, and uh, Gonzaga won 93-90. It was a close game the whole way. Literally the whole way. I think the highest like lead was 6 or something. Maybe. But Gonzaga, first of all, look how many players they played. <laughs> Not that many. Look at these minutes. Um, but this is their team, and this is the best team in the country. I still have them winning it all. Um, but Baylor's really good. It'll be probably their best matchup. Corey Crispert, 44 minutes, 15-4-5, uh, and low-key quiet game. He really didn't have that much of an impact offensively, uh, which is funny because... Gonzaga can do that, and you got a guy like Drew Timmy who can come in 25-2-4. and four. It seemed like he did more than that. He also took a huge charge. That was big. Um, but these are the two best players for sure, and I'm sure Crispert will have a better championship game. But even if he doesn't, like Gonzaga can win with one of their guys not doing well. That's how good they are. But Drew Timmy, this was his game. He really uh, dominated. They couldn't, they couldn't stop him. They didn't have an answer for him. And he was just getting easy buckets. And he was playing really good defense, too. So this is basically the whole team. Uh, Nembard. He, uh, Drew Timmy got in foul trouble, too. And I think Nembard did, too. But he did really well in 11-8-1. It didn't seem like he didn't do that much here. But if you watch the game, he definitely made an impact. And I think he was the one who hit that three at the end, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Joel Ayayi, 22-2-6, he also carried, um, he's a really good player, you know, you kind of, he kind of gets overshadowed by Kispert and Timmy, but he's probably the third guy, <laughs> Jalen Suggs did well, 16-6-5, um, everybody kind of produced here, Watson and Cook didn't do much, but they didn't play that much either, um, but yeah, this was a close game the whole way. And UCLA, they're going to be better next year. Who knows if they'll go this far, but in the regular season, they'll be better. And uh, I just, I hope Juzang comes back. I'm a Gonzaga fan, but I still like UCLA. But if Juzang comes back, this is team can be scary next year, but he's probably going to go in the NBA. Either way, UCLA's back, I think, UCLA basketball. Um, and they had nothing to lose. All the pressure was on Gonzaga in this game. So good job to Gonzaga. And let's go to UCLA. Cody Riley, 14, 5, and 10. He had a really good game. Uh, it's just stuff in the stat sheet. Uh, Juzang, 29, 2, and 6. He definitely carried here. Honestly, I don't remember Juzang missing a single shot the whole game, and I watched the entire game. I literally don't remember when he missed... Um, Jaquez, or Jaquez, whatever you say it, uh, junior, 19-4-5, he was doing really well as well, he was kind of carrying in the first half, um, yeah, he's a good player, Tiger Campbell, probably the best name in the college, 17-7-1, uh, he did really well, in my opinion, and, um, seven assists is huge, Jules, Bernard, 5-2-4, not that many minutes, but that's some production in 18 minutes. David Singleton, 3-1-3. Not a lot of production. That's a lot of minutes, though. He's got to do more. Uh, Clark didn't do anything. So UCLA have some really good players. I'm a fan of Juzang, obviously. Uh, Yaquez, Tiger, and Riley. I hope... Uh, I don't think any of them... I don't know if they're seniors or not, but if not, I hope they come back. So, see the stats. Uh, Shooting-wise, yeah, look at this. 58 to 57. Both teams are just hot the whole way. Three-pointers. Gonzaga did struggle on threes. I think that's why it was close. Uh, they were taking some good threes, too, and they just were missing. So, I think that's why UCLA was carrying or, uh, you know, staying in the game. Free throws. Both teams didn't do that well, especially Gonzaga. Um, both teams can do better on free throws, I think. Rebounds. 
UCLA won the rebound here, 32-26. to 26. Um, Both teams with a very big offensive numbers and the assists here, 25-21. to 21. Gonzaga, you kind of expect that. But 21 assists for UCLA, good job for them. Blocks, 3-1. to one. Steals, 8-4. to four. 8 steals is good. That's pretty good. Turnovers, 10-10. and 10. Yeah, that's probably too many for Gonzaga, though. A fantastic game. This was one of the best college games I've seen in a while. Um, I just hope the championship game is, you know, at least close to that. But I got Gonzaga winning it. I had them winning it since day one. I've had them winning it since last year. <laughs> this team is going to win it, in my opinion. And Mark Few will finally get that, that championship. And Gonzaga um, will finally, you know, win it. They should have probably won it the past few years. But, yeah, all the pressure's on them, though. So Baylor might have a great game, just like we saw UCLA come out with a great game. But I'm excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good game. Because both teams are very evenly matched. But yeah, I still got Gonzaga. But, uh, you know, we'll see. If they do win, it'll be a perfect season. Which hasn't happened since, I think, Indiana. Which is funny because it's playing in Indiana. So that'd be kind of cool if they were able to get the perfect season. But we'll see what happens. It's been a great March Madness. Mickey Mouse tournament a little bit, but... It's all right. It's all right. It's all coming together in the end here. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Peace.